Hello and welcome to another episode of Will It Explode, where we take the Ford Bronco with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost motor out for a drive and hope it doesn't leave us stranded on the side of the road. But if it does, you will see my disappointment, my pain, my agony, live as it happens. So come along and drive with us. We are at 1,941 miles. We will hit 2,000 miles on this trip. Okay, today we are taking the Bronco to one of Disney's nicest hotels. It's called the Wilderness Lodge. And the Bronco, of course, fits in with the whole wilderness camping theme. We are going to their outdoor restaurant called the Geyser Bar. It's really nice. It's got a big lake, a lot of wildlife running around, ducks and rabbits. I think you're really gonna like this, so stick around. The next time you see us, we will be at Wilderness Lodge. Here is yet another Jeep. We see them all over Florida. They are everywhere. And this Jeep happens to be from Texas. Is he racing the Bronco? Is this a Bronco versus Jeep race? Uh oh, you're losing the race, buddy. The Wilderness Lodge is right near the Magic Kingdom and there is the entrance to the Magic Kingdom. Okay, as you can see, we just parked the Bronco. We parked it all the way in the back of the parking lot because we don't like people parking next to us. And the Wilderness Lodge is behind me. The place is absolutely amazing. I think you're gonna like it. And just our luck, we come here the day the waterfall is turned off. But I do have video of what it looks like when it's turned on, and I'll show you some of that right now. Here I'm just gonna insert some footage of all the scenery and all the things to look at while you're at Wilderness Lodge. Every time we come here, I like to just walk down this path by all these cabins. I believe this is all part of the Disney Vacation Club. So we've never spent any nights in these, but they sure do look nice. And every one of them's got a view of the lake. This place is really nice. Usually I'll see some rabbits hopping around, but I don't know if I'm in the wrong time of year. They're all hiding today. And if you like sunburn, you could always sit out here and watch the lake. Okay, we have arrived at the Geyser Bar. Let's go in and see what's on the menu. Northwest iced tea. Bison burger.
Okay, that's one of the smaller drinks I've been served. Let's see what it tastes like. Northwestern iced tea is very good. What is that? It is a blueberry lemonade. I need to taste it. <laughs> we have another duck sighting. Ducks are always walking around looking for food. Okay, we'll stick around because we're about to order some food and I'll show you what that looks like. Food would be good right now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here is the bison burger. That is looking very colorful. Looks very good. Okay, that's what it looks like out of the wrapper. Looking tasty. Okay, it is raining on the table. It is now blowing rain into my platter. I'll scoot it over. It is now raining as it does in Florida mm. without warning. Okay, I'm beginning to feel like I'm on Gilgan's Island. Since the weather's starting to get rough. That is a salmon. Did you just poke that with a fork? No. So they butchered the end like that? Yeah. They butchered. Look at that. That's points deduction. That's a points deduction. They butchered the end of the salmon. Is it Gordon Ramsay standards? Good it looks like it's cooked right. Uh huh. And it looks like they made everyone get out of the pool. That means there was a lightning strike somewhere in the area. So they made everyone get out of the pool. It's for your own safety, people. That behind me is the geyser. It is not working today, so I will insert some video here of what it's supposed to look like when it is working. And you can take a nice walk on a boardwalk through the woods at Wilderness Lodge. We are just going to walk and show you the boardwalk through the woods. And here is what the hotel looks like on this side. And you can walk to the boat dock and it will take you to the Magic Kingdom. And I am the only one at the Wilderness Lodge boat dock. How cool is that? I got the whole place to myself. There's so much room for activities. You can keep your kids hyper for hours. Just get them some of this. And look what someone brought to the Wilderness Lodge.
Okay, we are on the way home and we are about to hit 2,000 miles. No issues so far, so let's see what happens. There it is, 2,000 miles. Okay, there is our first real milestone with the Bronco. We have reached 2,000 miles with this 2.7 liter EcoBoost motor, which could possibly have the faulty valve issue. All is well at 2,000 miles. I am very proud of this Bronco. We feel very fortunate to have it. As you know, we have antimatter blue, which is now a discontinued color. It was only for the first model year. And I believe there was only about 35,000 Broncos even delivered in 21. How many of those was two-door and how many had antimatter blue? We could have a unicorn of a Bronco here. We are very happy with the Bronco. And as you can see, my wife loves making these videos because she is always the one driving. But the miles has to be documented, so she's gotta do the driving. I cannot drive and document. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it entertaining. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.